Hey, what's up? Easy Overdose here. I'm going to show you how to fix a broken SATA power connector on your water pump. And this is on an H100i, but it uses the, the Asetek uh, pump design. So if you have like an H60, H80, H100, H110, and probably other brands as well, they're all the same. And you can tell this by if uh, the SATA power is a 2-pin SATA power and it runs into the pump housing and it's non-modular. So it's like hooked to the pump PCB and you cannot remove it. So on mine, the uh, back plate for the pins, like it's a, you know, a support for the pins to make contact with the power supply connector in, that broke off inside of the SATA connector for the power supply. And what I did is I just I dug the plastic part out of the power supply connector with a knife uh, just because it's nothing wrong with that end, so I could reuse that. So I just needed to get that out of there so I could reuse it. And I took the pins on the water pumps out of power and bent them all down at like 30 degree angle, something like that. And then I took, when I took and plugged it in, you know, I plugged it in at an angle as well, and then bent both of them upward to straighten them out. That way it was like forcing the pins on the SATA power to touch the pins on the, uh, power supply SATA connector so they'd make contact and get you know juice going through it otherwise it's uh, possible without that back support on there it's not we wouldn't have enough tension to you know like keep a, a good contact on it so then I wrapped a zip tie around it and then uh, shaved off one of the wires to where I could probe into it with a multimeter and turned the computer on and then grounded the you know the one probe on the case and then checked for voltage I have it on the 20 volts DC and verified what kind of voltage it was getting and it's getting 12 volts so I knew I was getting 12 volts there so I went ahead and checked the other wire just to make sure that it was ground and it wasn't like two hot leads or something like different voltage for different RPM or something and it ended up being a uh, ground so it's a 12 volt and a ground and then I went ahead and hooked up the Molex uh, adapter that I was going to use it's a Molex to a fan connector that came with my radiator fans that I bought and I knew I was going to just cut the end off and solder it together so that's what the adapter looks like that I used um, and this is the wires uh, on the on the pump a little better picture the power was on the outside and the ground was on the inside now if you have to use like a different Molex adapter and you want to just like use something out of an old computer or something uh, make sure that you you know the voltage on the Molex plug. On the one side it's 12 volt, on the other side it's 5 volt, and the two grounds are middle. So make sure you wire that up properly. And just double check and be sure with a multimeter just to make sure you're doing everything right. So I took and instead of unhooking the pump and uh, having to redo the thermal paste and just undo the radiator, the radiator was already mounted, the the pumps mounted and like I don't have any thermal paste so instead of doing all that I just set up like a an operating uh, booth here with some heat proof mat and just have the case on its side to where I can solder these wires together so I went ahead and soldered them and then wrapped tape around each one individually and then just wrapped the whole thing and then this is uh this is what it looked like plugged in and this was the first time that I was testing it so I went ahead and uh, kicked on the, the power supply and fired it up and the first thing that I'm doing when I'm as soon as I start it is I touch the plug just to make sure the plugs not getting hot because if you wire that up backwards or something and the uh, power supply or like the motherboard doesn't go into like short circuit protection it's uh, that will probably get really hot really quick so if you feel heat on that you shut it off instantly and then I checked uh, to make sure that the, I could feel the pump running you should feel like vibration through the pump and through the hoses to make sure that the pumps actually turning and I did so I went ahead and just uh, let the computer boot up and I loaded up Corsair link and just uh, brought up the the pump RPM just to show you the pump was running it's running at like uh, 2200 RPM they all run at a static value so that was it it's still working as of uh, I don't know like I'm recording this probably a week after I did it and everything's fine it's been crunching videos and stuff full load so the gauge of the wires were the same on the 
SATA power to the Mullix adapter, and I don't think they pull more than a couple amps, so it's not that big a deal anyway. And that's it. That's all you need to know how to fix it. So thanks for watching, and like, comment, subscribe.